Hello, and welcome to Shane's Microscope. I'm Shane, and this is my microscope. Let's take a peek. Today I wanted to do a little bonus video on identifying microbes. The way that you get a positive identification is with an identification key. So my favorite for ciliates is probably British and other freshwater ciliated protozoa. It's okay that it's British because most microbes are pretty cosmopolitan. That means they live everywhere. And it is a bit of an older book, but it suits my purposes just fine. So to use an identification key, you're gonna go to the start of the key just start at step one and follow it down. So let's identify opercularia as an exercise. So step one, the adult always with cilia and or cirri, that is us. So we go to step two, cilia to either partly or totally encased in some form of lorica, that is not us. So the sub-step there, cilia not in a case, takes us to step three. Ciliate not fixed to a substrate, swimming freely, not us. Ciliate attached to a substrate, by some means, some have a stock, that is us. So that's sending us to page 58. Oval in outline, dorsoventrally flattened, that is not us. The substep, Rarely oval in outline, one genus flattened, others rounded in cross-section, that is definitely us. So that takes us to step two. Cilia never distributed over the body, but are restricted to the extreme anterior region of the cell, that is us. So that takes us on to step number five. Step number five, always attached to the mouth parts of crustacea, nope. The substep attached to animals, plants, and inanimate objects, sometimes by means of a stalk, that is definitely us. So we've got a Cecil paratrick, and that sends us on to part two. Whole other book here, part two. All right, so part two asks the same questions at the beginning as part one, and we still land at the Cecil genera on page 58. This takes us through much of the same questions. Number five, attached to animals, plants, or inanimate objects with a stalk, takes us to the Cecil Paratrix on page 196. With a prominent stalk, that's what we've got. So step number five, stalk contractile containing myoneme, we do not. A modern key would call that a spasmoneme. So since we don't have a spasmoneme in the stock, we go to step 15. Step 15 asks if we've got a peristome with or without a lip, does not have a lip. So that sends us on to 16. It is colonial. That sends us to step 17. And the nucleus is elongate and often horseshoe shaped. So that gives us opercularia on page 232. All right, and then there's a description. It tells you what it could easily be mistaken for. That'll be the orbopercularia on page 240. There's a nice little drawing of it. And just to have a look at the orbopercularia on page 240, we can see that it's pretty much the same, except for the shape of the macronucleus. So, that's pretty much how you positively identify microbes. The difficulty sometimes arises because you don't always have access to the techniques required to progress in a key. Sometimes you get to a point that you need to do some sort of complex staining operation or something along those lines, and for the amateur that's just not particularly feasible to do some of those. But you follow the key as far as you can follow it, and you get to the level of specificity that you can get to. Basically, to summarize, you do what you can do, because that's what you can do. All right, well, I think we'll leave it there for the day. Thanks for having a look with me. Until next time, keep on peeking.